Prior to the Nazi occupation, the Channel Islands provided most of our tomatoes. Shortage of this nutritious fruit has been made good by a bumper yield from extensive planting now cultivated on the Isle of Wight. The Mayor of Ryde, Mr. Weeks, visits Knighton Valley, now a flourishing area. Tomato growing has materially recompensed the island for its loss of the holiday season. Girls, assisted by a few college students, pack the fruit into boxes, all but one that is, ready to start their journey to your table. The Isle of Wight, through necessity, has founded a new industry, invaluable in wartime and which promises well for the peace. As the need for conserving shipping space becomes more imperative every day, the task of growing our food at home takes on an increasing importance. This year, hard-pressed farmers and farm workers have produced a record harvest. They have been ably assisted by many volunteers, and never has there been better cooperation between town and country. Soldiers, sailors and airmen, the home guard, civil defence workers, holiday makers, school children, voluntary land clubs, and Women's Emergency Land Corps have all helped in this urgent work. From towns all over the kingdom, civil servants, office and factory workers and shop assistants have gone out in the evenings and at weekends to do their bit in getting more from the land. The Women's Land Army, too, have done splendid work, tackling the most difficult jobs and coming out on top. Whilst the land produces more, the people must learn to economise more thereby allowing our ships to be free to do their bit in settling accounts with Hitler. <laughs>